What's up guys, Austin Joe here, and today we're showing off these Dorbs rides, so of course Funko Dorbs, and these are their rides, so we get a little Dorbs figure that sits on some sort of vehicle usually, but this time we have some animals here as well. And so we have a Thundercats and two He-Man Masters of the Universe. So with Thundercats we have a Panthro with the Thunder Tank, and then we have, um, with the He-Mans, we have He-Man on Battle Cat and Skeletor on Panthor. So the um, Panthro and the He-Man here, both of these were Funko Shops. You could get them from the Funko Shop, you know, where they release stuff every Wednesday. I think these, one of these may have been um, during like a Comic Con or something. I can't remember because we've had these for quite a while. But as you can see here, we have this one um, limited to 3,000 pieces and this one limited to 5,000. So these are more rare as in you're not just going to find them everywhere in stores and they're only on Funko Shop. So that's the only place you could get those. And then this one down here was a Toy Tokyo for um, San Diego Comic Con of last year. And so it was Toy Tokyo so you can only get it like at the Comic Con or through their store. Um, but I think we ended up getting this probably like off Amazon or something and um, we got it more recently and that's why we're doing this now. So my brother, he collects all the He-Man and uh, Thundercats dorbs and stuff so that's why we have these. And I thought it'd be cool and we've showed some off before in like probably a Comic-Con video or something where we've done Funko items. But this time we're just doing the rides here by themselves. So we'll just go ahead and go open them, each one of them and just kind of look at the figure and then the rides as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So first up here we have Panthro with the Thunder Take. So this is again from Thundercats. So we have Panthro here which is kind of the, I don't know if he's like the main sidekick or one of the um, like top sidekicks for um, Thundercats. Uh, the sidekick of um, Lion-O, of course the main character from Thundercats. And so this is one of his friends. I don't know what he's supposed to be. I, I guess a panther or something obviously since his name's Panther. But um, so he's, you know, they're all like cat crook characters and stuff. Like lions and everything. And so they're um, each that. And then they're humanoids so they have, you know, faces and arms and legs and all that sort of stuff. And then they, you know, fight evil and everything so this is of course panther as i mentioned so he's all gray i like how they gave him these eyebrows so that they're raised eyebrows and stuff just you know said just a flat face and so they're dorps so they always give him this painted on smile and then they have like you know the closed eyes but i like how they added beyond that the um eyebrows again you know that more features to it again because you know they're cats and stuff so they'll have like the eyebrows and everything um but they add painted on the eyebrows as well onto it then gave him the pointed ears which i don't remember you know cats and stuff having pointed ears that look like spock or something but whatever it is and then we have his body here so again they have just these fat little round bodies and so then they always have their arms sticking off so again he's got the two arms and then so this arm has you know some sort of band that has probably like spikes or something and then the, then just a, a silver band on that side then he's in an outfit here so it's kind of like a um I don't know what you'd call it. It's like a, uh, so he has like a belt here in the center. And then he has kind of like um, some like trunks on or something. It reminds me of like uh, the like yodeling people, like the classic like German outfit is what it reminds me of. And so we have the belt here again with the big coin in the middle of the Thundercats logo, the giant cat head there on the red. And then on the stripes here, you can see there's the little silver things that look like spikes. So I assume more spikes there. Then he's got the cat chest underneath. So again, it's supposed to, you know, look like a cat or, or you know, like a humanoid version of a cat. So it's got the lighter, gray color there on his chest with maybe some lines of hair or something then you can kind of see his legs here under his trunk legs and into like uh, shoes or boots here at the bottom which you know just look around but they do have the little lifts or like um, up curves to be you know like those are the front of the boots and everything and it continues on the back with the same just without the Thundercats logo there on the belt and so it's just a kind of a, just a plain and basic figure as usually Dorps are but then he comes with the Thunder Tank here. So again, it's just one of the tanks and rides they use um, to like when they fight the bad guys. And so it kind of you know looks like an animal here in the front. So it's got the uh, teeth showing here. And then so two eyes and like a nose there. Um, there's some sort of issue going on here. There's like glue or something all over the front. I don't know if you can see it in the um, light there. But there's like glue all over the front. So they must have messed something up when gluing this together. But then we have the two feet here in the front. They're supposed to you know look like claws and stuff. I'm sure they do something in regards to the tank. Then we have the um, tank wheels in the back so it's like the uh, tracks here and you can see the little things you know it helps spin it maybe the engine and stuff so we have the same designs on both of those two the two circle parts maybe that probably move and stuff so some sort of thing related to that. We got the back that just looks plain and just you know different some like silver or some grays and blacks and stuff designs same on this side. 
Then in the top here, so we have the Thundercats logo there in the center in this big like coin circle area. Then inside you can see we have some red and blue. So, you know, it's supposed to be like, a, you know, maybe like control panels or something. And then the front there we would see like the driver. Um, but just kind of plain there. And so this is a Dorbs ride. So they do have the little pegs. So if you can... You can take someone and sit them, and it kind of like helps hold them in. But you know, usually if you move it too much, they'll fall out or something. Um, but there's not much more to it. Let's look at the bottom. Oh, so it's just got some red and stuff going on there. Um, I don't really know like how to judge it. I've never really seen this tank um, in real life, you know, in a toy or from the show or anything. So I don't know exactly how close it looks to the real life thing design. But um, I don't think it looks horrible. I mean, it's just kind of plain and basic. There's not much detail going into it. But I still think it's cool. So that's going to be it for Panther with the Thunder Tank. And next up here, we're moving the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. And we have He-Man with Battle Cat here. So this is kind of cool. I like the whole cat design. This reminds me a lot of like the Star Wars dorbs that I collect. And you know, so we have the creatures. So like the Tauntaun or something is what this reminds me of. And so we have the He-Man dorbs here. And this is from the 80s version. So can pop him up they really got him stuck in there and so we have the um as as i said 80s version of he-man so we have the like weird bob haircut with the uh I guess, bangs i guess you call them going in there then he has the normal doors face so as you see it's just a circle with you know lines drawn on to be a face that's usually what the dwarves are but as you can see we have the hair there of course it's like the dutch boy haircut or whatever as you can call it so it just um, looks really weird, but I like the way it's designed and everything. It looks very much like the cartoon version. Then we go into suits. So we have a um, plate of armor, chest of armor here, and it's got the H on it, of course, you know, to be like He-Man and everything. So it has the chest of armor, and you can see it's got like the abs and everything and the um, uh, chest parts or whatever. Then we have the orange belt going on there, again, to go with the um, bands around the arm. And then he's got fur, um, kind of like uh, underwear here, I guess you could say. And then for the fur boots as well, because, again, they have the design there on the bottom. And he's supposed to have the bare legs, I believe, in this version of He-Man. He's got the bare legs as well. And then on the back, it just continues on with the uh, chest armor. And so nothing more detailed going in the back there. So there we have He-Man. And then we come to Battle Cat, or also known as Cringer, usually when he's not. Because um, when He-Man, or when um, Adam of Eternia turns into He-Man, Cringer also turns into Battle Cat. So but, um, Cringer looks just like this, like the cat, not this whole red armor. But he's a real scaredy cat about everything. But of course when he turns into Battle Cat, he's a, a ferocious fighter. And so when he becomes Battle Cat, he gets his armor added on. So we have a saddle here. So it's this all red saddle. Of course, it has spikes and everything because it's, you know, got to be warlike. And so you have to have spikes and everything. And I like how they um, have the He-Man. Instead of, like, you know, the prongs or whatever, like the Thunder Tank had, you just kind of shove him in there. So once he's on, he's on there pretty good. I mean, obviously, you can fall off, but so he can hold upside down and not fall out. Um, so I really like the way they designed that and everything and how tight it is of holding him on there. Let's pull it out. There we go. And so we have the um, kind of like the back of the saddle here. It's kind of like a almost like the parts you usually hold on to with your hands when you're riding something, but they put it on the back to go along with that. Then on the front, we have his head armor piece again, just to add more war like stuff. And so we do have spikes here on the top of the head. And then just a giant helmet here that you know, sits on top of his head. You can still see they did put the um, lines in for the eyes. And then he's smiling, everything showing his giant teeth. So we got the four big teeth, and of course the tongue and stuff. And then a spike going there in the front as well. They probably used to help with fighting and biting. And so then we got, of course, he is a cat, so he has, you know, the paws going on here. He's kind of like a tiger, so but he's all green and then has the yellow stripes instead of, you know, orange with black stripes. And then, of course, his tail there in the back. And so I really like this and think they're pretty cool. But that's going to be it for He-Man with Battle Cat. And last year from He-Man and Masters of the Universe, we have the evil Skeletor with Panthor. And it's going to be confusing to get Panthor and Panthro from the first one <laughs> separated and no, tell them apart and everything. So this is pretty much exactly just like um, Battle Cat and He-Man. Um, obviously different. So we'll go ahead and start with Skeletor. Of course, he is the evil guy from He-Man. Let's see if I can get him off. Um, so here is Skeletor. So he's got a skeleton face. And I like the colors. This, again, is definitely the 80s version going on here. So we have the yellow face. And then because of the shadows and stuff, they put the green, you know, because it's be the hood like shadow's face then he's in the all purple that i like i like the colors all going together but there we have his face and of course in the skeleton they had to put the line so you know he's got the dorbs eyes going on there i like the nose and everything skeleton nose then they put the smile on with the skeleton teeth so you can see all the teeth and everything 
And then he's got his purple hood on, and then we go to his outfit. And so he's wearing an um, outfit very similar to probably like He-Man, or more kind of like uh, Panthero had. So we've, you know, got the, um, kind of like he's wearing, I don't know what you call him, like underwear. And then, but he also has like a tank top on type too that's purple. And you can see it has like this bat logo. Of course, you got to be evil with bats and everything of Skeletor there. And then he's got the straps on holding up the leather. And so he has like a belt and everything here. So you have the belt with the skull or crossbow or with the bone, I should say. Then you have a skull there on it and everything. And so just, you know, of course, looking evil with the straps and got like studs all over it and everything. Um, nothing on his arms compared to the last two. And then, of course, he does have the black fur like underwear parts and then he's got the boots here purple boots that have you know the le um, tops on them there as you can see the lines and everything and I just like all that then we go to the back and you see more of the straps so again it looks very um, studded with all the different like um, silver parts going on there or gray I can't really tell it's hard to see with the light and everything of all the detail but this probably out of all three has the most detail on its back with all the different straps and everything you see the point of the hood and everything to show that it is a hood going on there and it just continues all around so there is Skeletor then we've got Panthor here and so Panthor is very much you know in the exact same design as Battle Cat just doesn't have the head covering and this is flocked as well so that's what also um, is part of the exclusiveness of this is that it's a flocked and I like the flock so as you can see it does have like a velvety I think it's velvet or something is what you could say but it's got it's all nice and soft and fluffy and everything um, but it's got exact same saddle as Battle Cat had it's just green instead of the red again with the spikes and everything and again it held on Skeletor as you could tell by when I had it it was hard to get kind of hard to get him out but it does hold him on he does kind of wobble back and forth but he doesn't fall off which is always a good thing so I really like that um and then of course his face instead of being covered by a big armored helmet it's just the normal cat face so as you can see it there so it's got the eyes and everything that they painted on into the flock then we've got the nose the big cat nose and then it's um i, I don't know what you call it i'd say like cheeks or something but just the upper lip under the nose how it's all nice and fat there showing its teeth as well so it's got the four teeth also then we have of course the ears all folded back bent back and everything and then the um fur or hair coming off the side of the face that i really like as well and then, of course, we have the cat feet. And so on this, obviously, since it is the flock on the bottom, they are smooth. So you don't have to worry about it if you, like, do it and play with it and stuff. That it won't rub the flocking off of the feet because it's already covered. And then, of course, in the back here, we have the tail. Um, and I just really like this, the black uh, panther going on here. I really like that. And I think that's so cool. So that's going to be it for this figure Friday of these door drives from Funko. Of course, we had the Panthro with th the Thunder Take from Thundercats. Then from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, we had He-Man on Battle Cat and Skeletor on Panthor. That, of course, is all flocked and everything and make it special. That's the Toy Tokyo exclusive, and these other two are from the Funko Shop exclusive. Um, so they're really cool. I really love, like, I really enjoy Dorbs. I know most people don't like them, but I really do. And I, like, I collect all the Star Wars figures, and especially, like, the Star Wars uh, Dorbs rides a lot. And so um, getting these Dorbs, I just really like them and appreciate them. And they're cheaper, and I think they like store a little bit nicer because I don't keep them in boxes because I don't really like their box designs compared to um, pops and everything so I just really like Dorbs a lot so I hope you enjoyed this if you did let me know in the comments down below let me know if you enjoy Dorbs what's your opinion on Dorbs and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you next time